What's up, my friends? So a few months back, I was at my local butcher shop, came across a pack of frozen quail breasts. I brought them home, thawed them out, fried them up. Man, I got to tell you, they are delicious. Now, spoiler, if you're not a fan of liver, you're probably not going to like quail because some of the bites that you take of quail have a little bit of a liver taste. But for me, I love that. So for the quail, I've thawed it out. I've had it soaking in buttermilk overnight. I would go at least six hours with this sitting in buttermilk. For the dredge or the coating, I'm gonna use a half cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of cornmeal. And for the seasoning, now you can use any type of Cajun seasoning, blackened seasoning. Me, I like this Nashville hot seasoning. They all have a combination of paprika, onion, garlic powder, salt, maybe even cayenne like this one. So this is what I'm using today. And for deep frying, I'm gonna fry in canola oil. So let's get these breaded and start frying. So we'll go over the dredge amount again. Half a cup of all purpose flour, quarter cup of cornmeal, and I didn't give the quantity of the seasoning. I'm going to go with a whole tablespoon. Goes right in. Quail, bet, quail breasts aren't very big, so let me show you what they look like right quick. There you go. One, one little quail breast. All right, so I'll mix my flour season up cornmeal let the buttermilk don't want to go too heavy with the buttermilk bang some of it off in we'll press down pretty good you can press down on it with your hand so there's one Do one more. Looks so like shake some of the excess off in. And try to remember wet hand, dry hand. That way you won't bread your hand. A little bit easier to clean. Do a little press. All right, we've got four more to do. We'll get this oil heating up and we'll get to frying next. All right, so I'm shooting for 350. We're right around there, so it's time to fry. Now I've got to plug my fire back up because that's the only temperature control. I'm tempted to fry the whole batch, but we'll see how it goes before I do that. Start with three, see how it goes. All right, I've got six. Show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna stay with three. Two fries, not a big deal. Put this plate over so it don't splatter everywhere. Give these a few minutes and come right back. So real quick, I'm gonna make a sauce for the quail. I'm using about three teaspoons of mayonnaise. I'm gonna use about one teaspoon of sriracha. By all means, use as much or as little as you like. So, very similar to a Thousand Island ketchup and mayonnaise with some pickle. But this is a spicy version. All right. Dipping sauce done. All right. These did a lot of popping, so... As you can see, there's some splatters, so be careful. These are floating. They're nice golden brown. Let's get them out. Man, they look good. Can't wait. All right. Let's see where I'm at on the camera. Move these up so you can see them. 
I'm gonna finish them off with pepper. Salt. I'll do both sides. And they look delicious. As you can see, some are bigger. They vary in size, but yum yum. <laughs> All right, I got one more batch to do. We'll come back and try them out. All right, next batch ready to come out. Ooh. Wow. Man, how good do they look? Southern cooking at its best right here. My friends, let's try this out. Can't wait. All right. Mmm. Wow. Now I gotta say, when you look at it, it looks like you're eating a country fried steak because the meat is red. But that seasoning's coming through, that, that Nashville hot seasoning. It's a little bit of kick, but I like that. Just a hint of the liver taste that I was talking about. but not as prominent as I've had with another batch. Mmm, golly. Breading's just right, not too much. Let's try this mayonnaise sriracha. It's just right. Man. All right, gotta say, this is delicious. This is a 10 out of 10. This makes for a great appetizer. If you have some friends that are willing to try something new, something different, a meal for two with a few veg on the side. I gotta say, I love it. Can't wait to keep eating it. All right, my friends, I'm gonna wrap it up. And always, I wish you good eating. Mmm. <laughs> So good.